Hi everyone, and thanks for taking a look at this preview of one of the upcoming features of ProBuilder 2.0. So going on in the background, you'll see the ProBuilder RT feature, which uh, just as it sounds is real-time use of ProBuilder in-game. So if you're using ProBuilder, you'll be able to create a game where you can actually build right within your game. And this is obviously, uh, as you can see here, pretty simple at the moment at the early stages. But this is something that, you know, we just, uh, we didn't have to add anything to ProBuilder necessarily. Um, we simply had to code up the interface for this, etc. So even if you're just using the beta, you could go ahead and use this yourself if you dig into the code um, and put together an interface and so forth. And this is just kind of showing uh, an idea of what you could do with it. Uh, we also, this was actually a uh, submission to the Unity DX11 contest, and we were using uh, tessellated surfaces on this, which look pretty great. Uh, especially since they are really high quality ones from GameTextures.com. Just want to give a shout out to those guys. Uh, awesome textures there. So anyway, just looking at this, um, with the RT, that, or at least the interface that we built here, you can just highlight or, or hover over a face and use a left click to bump it out or do an addition, and a right click will uh, remove it or, or do a subtraction. You can hold down the right mouse button for a period of time, and it will bring up the menu where you can add a new block, move a block, delete them, or choose a different type. So as you can hopefully kind of see there as the menu is jumping around, you have just uh, at the moment a, a few options for the cube types and you click on it and then that becomes a new essentially material you're using. Uh, and then if you use the move option, which I'm not sure we show right here in the video, but basically it just goes into a mode where the next cube that you click on you drag around with a mouse, pretty simple. And then with delete, you can uh, just look around and every, when you're in de delete mode, after you've clicked on that, any cube that you are that you're facing or, or you have the crosshairs over will light up with red around it. And then once you click, it'll delete it. So you can edit your scene a little bit fairly simply with that. Uh, and then just again, the subtraction addition for most of the uh, movements you're doing. You might notice while you're using it, uh, some things like, bringing cubes straight down to the ground can be really tricky and tedious, all sorts of things like that. Obviously, that's not a part of the, the feature that we're trying to uh, show here. It's just, you know, this is an early tech demo, just given a try uh, with the, you know, the feature that's available and hopefully see some people want to mess around with this and see what they can create. We'd love to see, uh, you know, if you want to post anywhere on the, the 6x7 forum, 6x7studio.com slash forum, or of course, just right on the Facebook page. Uh, I'm sure people could do a lot more interesting things than what I'm doing here in this demo. So anyway, give it a try, take a look. Uh, we really hope to see some neat creations from this, especially from people who are going to use it in their own actual game. So all sorts of neat things. You know, we'd been thinking of creating something like a tower defense game where not only do you have to uh, build towers or even de defend yourself, you'd have, you'd be able to build the actual geometry in the game. And then of course the, uh, the AI would work around that. Um, you could add that you could add all sorts of neat things to a game having this ability. Um, and of course there's still all the, you know, just in editor use, this doesn't change anything. Um, depending on how much demand there is for it, we might end up creating a sort of an add-on, um, something like NGOI did with their, um, the floating health text thing, I think it was, or it's just an add-on that you can also purchase where we can go ahead and set up something like this, where you have a basic interface and so forth, uh, in order to just quickly get up and started building your own game like this. So thanks for watching. Uh, drop some comments and hope to see some videos from you guys as well, or, uh, just plain screenshots. Thanks.